Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to take a look at Pareto charts. So a Pareto chart is a form of a bar chart that indicates the frequency usually of defects and it also looks as, at their cumulative impact. Um, and we use these types of charts to find the defects in order to prioritize them um, and that will allow us to work on the thing that's giving us the most trouble first and help us see the greatest overall improvement in the shortest amount of time. It generally follows this 80-20 rule. In other words, 80% of my problems come from 20% of my causes. So let's take a look at creating one. So if you've ever returned something, um, a lot of times they'll ask you, why are you returning it? And so this is a list of some of the reasons people gave for return. Things like they just didn't like it, it was defective, they changed their mind. Right? And now what we want to do is we want to convert this into a Pareto chart so that we can prioritize our efforts in improving our customer service and re reducing our number of returns. So here I have my data in Excel and so I'm going to select my data and I want both the reason for return and the frequency and then I'm going to come up here where it shows insert statistics chart and when I click on that you're going to see two types of histograms one is your traditional histogram and the one we want has this cumulative um, trend line on it and we're going to select that we'll move it over here so that we can see it and what you'll see is that it's created the chart that shows all of our reasons changed mind wrong size they didn't like it it was defective right? and it's going to show us the number or the frequency the number of people who gave us that reason and on this side it's going to give us this vertical secondary axis that is going to show us our cumulative percentage. Right? So what we can see right now is 80% or 70% rather of our returns are coming from wrong size as opposed to just 10% of them that are coming because our merchandise is defective. And so this is what we refer to as a Pareto chart, sometimes called a root cause chart. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks so much for watching.